Welcome back to VTOP10 and today's video we're ranking the 5 Haseem The Rock Rahman Best Knockouts. Number 5. Haseem Rahman vs Steve Pinnell. On April 21, 1998, defending IBF Intercontinental and USBA heavyweight titles Rahman beat Steve Pinnell by knockout at 148 in round 2 of 12. Up and lost a knockout. He's actually knocked down eight times in those for Pinnell. 33 and 3 coming into this fight. The critics off your back. You have to get in and perform. The only times he's moved up in class, but he feels like he is up for the, the task. He's been sparring with Oliver McCall. Good right hand, both fights. Oh, Pinnell is hurt. I thought it was because of his man. Oh, yeah, tell him that. <laughs> Not a down and Rockman has found the mark. Just cut Ephemia watching very closely. One more could just about do it. No, no. Try to clear the cobwebs. But uh, Rockman has been scored. Rockman getting a little bit excited. Man goes back to the body and stares. Stop for now doing anything he can to stay in this fight. Just trying not to get hit, but there was a eight, nine, ten. Oh, he ten. takes the ten count. Number four. Hasim Rahman versus Dickie Ryan. On September 7, 2007, Rahman beat Dickie Ryan by TKO at 0:41 in round two of 10 at Soaring Eagle Casino and Resort Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Be down with that jab, keep it two off, and, and set up the punch that knocked out Lennox Lewis. He had been a very big man. You see the size of his arms. Yet Ryan just cannot exchange jabs with him. This is just too big a puncher in rock. Barza separates the two. And to Ryan's credit, I mean, he usually left left hooks to the rib cage, and so it'll be interesting to see if Ryan can can fence and get any body shots on the arm. Well, right now he needs to get out of the corner. It's a rock mine. very aggressive right now, landing right and left. Well, it's a Ryan already looking a little wobbly here. Goes back. Well, he's very wobbly, and the right hand was set up by that telephone pole jab. But look how his entire face is red. That's all from taking those punches. And he already looks gassed as it's Rockman with an uppercut. I mean, those punches would have knocked out most people. With that. This fight continues. And down the corner of Ryan, his trainer Dennis Hardesty was telling him if he didn't see more action. It'd be very tough for him to survive this round. Ryan with his mouth open and then a body shot to a knee. And there's the towel from the corner of Ryan. Number 3. Haseem Rahman vs. Rob Calloway. On June 17, 2004, Rahman beat Rob Calloway by knockout at 2 o'clock in round 2 of 10 at Michaels 8th Avenue, Len Burney, Maryland. Calloway using some fast hands. Good jab by Rockman. And you know, and blood there. Here is round one winds down to the ballroom. Callaway is going to go downstairs because he perceives Rockman to be a little soft down there. In doing hands because he's going to expose himself. Good jab by Rockman. Oh, crunching right hand. Fight his way into this fight, and Rockman's not going to allow that to happen. So he's going to pick up the pace here. Callaway going to the body of Rockman. Right. They've, it's oh, oh he's the right hand on wobbles Callaway. Callaway's in some trouble. Another pounding shot with the right hand by Rockman and an uppercut. Fight. Yeah, it doesn't have long to go. Then a 20 to go in this round. Rock Gamely hanging in. Callaway with the uppercut. Gutty performance by Callaway, Larry. He's really hurt. Pounding right hand by Rockman. He will not assume Rock. Number two. Hasim Rahman versus Corey Sanders. On May 20, 2000. Ramon beat defending WBU heavyweight title Corey Sanders by TKO at 150 in round 7 of 12. Effective working off the jab. Now he backs Sanders into a corner. Rockman, but there's a hard left hand and obviously softness around the belt. That's not much a career. Well, Sanders was so much more extensive than that of Rockman, which to my knowledge didn't have much. Some body punching now. Oh, that was it. He made it miss. Sanders tries to finish up with 30 seconds to go in the round and goes down himself. And a fighter walk to his corner and go down to his knee to rest. Rockman tries to catch him with the right. This is 
just going to be an old-fashioned slugfest from here on in. And they almost both went down. Yeah, one is shooting the right hand leading up, is waiting to counter punch over the right. Hand. To counter Brad. All right, right hand by Rockman. Sanders is taking that vision of seeing him uh, rejuvenated himself, at least mentally. I'm looking for trade on here. Straight right hand by Rockman, right on the left. And a right. And a left. And a big round. He tries to hold on. And Rockman just pounding away. Sanders covering up, covering up, covering up, just punching. Punching. What's up? What's up? And he starts looking in. What's up? What's up? Number 1. Kasim Rahman vs. Lennox Lewis. On April 22, 2001, Rahman beat defending WBC, IBF and IBO heavyweight titles Lennox Lewis by knockout at 232 in round 2 of 12. Time comes with a range left hook in the sixth to turn it around and set up a knockout. Wanted to at least try it, but he leaped in with the right hand. Rock was Lewis has told anyone who will listen here that he would knock Rockman out earlier. He can land shot after shot into the left eye of Rockman already here in round three, indicating that Lewis back over the right hand. Happening here in rounds two and three, Lennox got a lot of room to punch. It's just like Lewis. Lewis, seemingly beginning to rock the rock, and now Rockman comes back with a question of his own. Lewis with his hands. occurred when he had his back to the ropes. That moment. Rockman, jab, 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 jab. Chases Lewis across the ring. In London, has Rockman put the upset he has. He got a brand new heavyweight champion. Thank you for watching. Please